Good afternoon, Fenlanders. How you doing? Uh, I'm Daniel, and welcome to my farm. Keep going. That way. No, stop. In today's video, we're going to crack on and get our big grader moved around. I'm going to go off and get all the fields cut around and uh, get all the mowing done. So that's another job ticked off the list. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, leave us a comment, and uh, enjoy the video. Come here to go and get the trailer. I'll go and get the trailer. Uh, we're going to try and get our big grader out, and obviously, we make a wall out of straw. Grumpy Grandad's just um, getting straw and stuff out. This is our wall for our shed throughout the winter. I'll go and get the McCormick and put that on a flat trailer, and we can put all these straws straight on that. So go and get little red. Just a little general we're mooching around kind of day start thinking about getting our graders swapped over and this looks like it could be fun to try and get this bloody tractor out of the way oh my dad is a pain in the ass rather than keeping things right over to one side and out of the way he can't do that let's park everything wherever i can leave it making the most of all the available space in our yard but no oh no oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh, I nearly burp snarted there. Sometimes the power shift works in this tractor and sometimes it doesn't. You have to give it a little wiggle and off it goes, but kind of need time to warm up and then all of a sudden it power shifts itself and it nearly throws you out the back window, which is quite amusing. Yeah, Grumpy Grandad, hey, there we go, power shift just kicked in. Grumpy Grandad was, uh, was going around with some baby wipes the other day, cleaning all the steering wheels in the tractor. So uh, at least he is trying to clean up after himself a little bit. Oh, missed that. Oh, wrong way. So Joe from Ben Bird is trying to butter me up for a 7290. And a 7290 would be totally boss of everything that I've got. I mean, I may just buy it as a tillage tra uh, tractor if I can afford it, but uh, Dad's not really that keen on it. And if Dad says no, then <laughs> Mum's definitely going to say no. So it's one of them, like when you're a little kid, Mum says no, Dad says no, and then you want to ask your grandma. She'll definitely say yes, you can have it. Park that there. Lovely. Back just a smidge. Bye. All right. Wait. Wait. Just make sure these wires are all good. Okay. Yeah, we're all good. So that's our big downs Proteus grader. Mega bit of kit, but our farmyard really isn't big enough for that. It's a fair weapon, and you can shovel some stuff for it. Just have a trailer, tip a trailer in there, and within, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, the trailer's empty, gone, hoovered up. See if we can get rid of this uh, grader with the forks to start with. There we go, perched. La, 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 la. Got some work to do on the grader. We always have some work to do on the grader. Mainly the chains on the hopper. They take a bit of a hiding. This is a one, one massive advantage with this little loader. So little, tiny little loader, it um, gets in anywhere. Perfect little yard truck. Poifig, poifig, poifig. Now uh, can he get his forks out? Yes he can. Yeah, I keep seeing other YouTubers with immaculate kit and immaculate farmyards and no dirt anywhere and everything concreted and... Ah, oh man! Should have tried harder at school, shouldn't I? But we'll use this little dirt bucket. This is a little dirt bucket for this, for this little loader because it's all she'll handle. But the JCB will handle bucket that size. A, a ton grain bucket will handle that, no trouble. Full of dirt. This, this old clunk of wine. Wrinkly old loader scrape up all this dirt in into the shed and we'll have, we'll have a good old tidy up. Good old scrape up. What do you want me to do? Drive out? Bar this Come here and bar this I see the grader moving. I thought you went to put the dogs up. I, I thought I was dragging something. Come on in. As you can see, this is a downs... Uh, Downs greater service tool. Bro, they're coming out of the way. Right. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah, you want to come to me a bit? 
That's it, a little bit. Hey! Oh. Ah. Ah. Yeah, you want to keep going over, Dad. Uh, are you off the forklift now? Yeah. Right, just grab this, the end of this, then. I can't push it on my own. Ready? How do you? need to be harder. Oh, well, push it back a bit. Then. Well, I, I can't go that way. If I try and turn that way, I go that way. Either or then. Well, this won't push across. That's the trouble. That's, gently does it like that, I think. Bit, bit, bit less. Well, I don't know. You're right. You got a fair bit of room this side. You keep, keep going that way, I think. It'll come back to you, won't it? You got a foot this side and no room this side. That way. You got to go that way. No. Gotta go forward. See, now straighten up there. Go on, hard round, hard round. Ah. Yeah. Go on, keep going, keep going. Straight back. You've only got a few inches this side. You've got eight inches that side. No, stop. Ah. <clears throat> Try that then, Dad. All right. Hard round. I think it's time this came down, don't you? Let me have a scrape up and we'll go from there. Oh, he gets grumpy for no reason, very, very quickly. Oh, that's a pallet done for. Managed to nail that. I, mean, I think I'm going to turn you lot off for a little while and we'll show you the end result. Stick around and see how we get on. I was hoping to get some of this on film, but Grumpy Grandad's kind of got it off already. Do you think it's all this new fuel that's... Um, yeah, it's the new fuel. And the new fuel that's eating away at the seals on our uh, injection 22-year-old tractor. Yeah. So Actually, that's a new pipe that's supposed to be holding, that's supposed to be good for the new diesel, but even that's gone again, so... Right. New diesel's eating away at the... Uh, Leaking at 52 out of seals. Yeah, E10 diesel. Cause That's the third one I've done this year. Can we have our um, sulphur fuel back, please? <laughs> Can we just, at least, because it's, what is it, 10% um, biofuel? Is it 10% biofuel now? I don't know what they're putting in it now. Because it was like 5 or 7% or something, wasn't it? Yeah. And now, um, now it's more percentage of biofuel. It seems to be eating the seals away, so yeah. Yeah, so that's an injection pump. Farming, fixing, fabricating. I've done it all at tech. Yeah. Fifty years ago. That was like a hundred years ago. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't changed. They haven't changed in a hundred years, have they? Not really. So that's going to cost about six hundred quid to get done up. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. But I am going to go do some mowing. So we've had another fifteen mil of rain, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to take the old clunker, the wrinkly old tractor and we are going to go do some mowing like fen farmer said start of every year starts at the side of the field yeah we'll try and get a little video of us mowing today i mean it's not going to be that exciting but you know me i make things exciting i've got my fenland farming adventures t-shirt on which and uh yeah we just um we always had a verge mower a big um big arm style mower we've always had them but this little mower came up for sale at uh, Cheffins, it was brand new. Yeah, it didn't make by rule, so I had it. Just just to see if I liked it and see if we got on all right with it. I mean, Dad, Grumpy Grandad's replaced almost everything on it because everything keeps falling off it. Yeah, the first time we used it, the motor fell off it, the gearbox fell off it. Last year, I think the roller fell off it. So everything welded on now. It just, it's gonna go until it doesn't go no more and then we'll give up with it. First thing you gotta do is push it out to the PTO shaft to straight get her fired up and then push it right out like so oh that didn't sound good we're away and then it's just really as simple as cutting your grass say five out of 540 speed it's in 
and that's the, that's the speed the gearbox is run at. So uh, 420 is what I'm running. So uh, yeah, this is my day. Lovely chilled out day. Chilling out, relaxing, mowing around the fields. Here you can see that this is where the edge of my field starts and this is where the side of the bank starts so a couple of meters there just go round and tidy up and uh, make um, make my field all pretty so this is the end result folks we got our big grader in big proteus down proteus grader this big grader i can tip a trailer into it and it sucks it out and then 10 minutes or so it's done uh, you see how big the hopper is, it's massive. You can hold about eight or nine ton or maybe 10 ton in there. Not only that, it's got a huge, big uh, sorting, cleaning system. There you go, you can see our little old grader. There, look, there's our little grader. You can only get about three ton in that, maybe four ton at a push. You got all the grading sizing screens hit. Uh, there we go, if I can get my finger working. Sizing screens there, and then a big, cleaning module to take dirt out there. You got enough room on here. Uh, you can have like six people either side. You can really shovel the stuff through. So that's just an explanation of why we um, why we changed the graders over. We can still um, grade stay, uh, straight out off the trailers if we want to. These elevators go that way to the box filler or they go that way to the bagging line. So the bagging line's there, look, there's the bagger and here's the stacker. We've still got our options open then. If people want an order, and they're paying good money for them, then we can do them. Failing that, they'll go into boxes and go straight into the shed. So don't forget to check out all our other videos on the screen now.